Before I begin, I guess, I have to explain to myself. I have been filming this, or making, I've been working on this project since, like, September, October. And I swear that I've been filming stuff for it since September, October. And I swear I filmed an intro in October or something. I swear I did. But I can't find it. So either I just didn't, and I think I did, or... I accidentally deleted it so this is a weird one because I'm filming the intro after I've finished everything so I know exactly how it all went um but yeah I, I was like looking through my phone and my recently deleted for ages last like the other day and I can't find it and I don't I don't know if I'm going crazy or if I just am an idiot and accidentally deleted it so the beginning is gonna be missing some steps and I feel like I I haven't talked enough, but it's okay. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'm making the uh, Starboy p coat, p Starboy coat, by uh, Recl Reclamare, Rec Reclamare. Dot ph on Instagram. It's uh like, yeah. That that's the user. That's her, um, and it's a coat inspired by like Hal from Hal's Moving Castle, and I love that movie, and I love Hal so much. I haven't read the books. I don't read very much. I know I would be easy to read them because they're for kids, but apparently in the books, Hal's ugly, so I do not care for them. Material. It's so weird for me afterwards. When I started it, this was like my biggest crochet. Piece is like the first cardigan I've made but since starting it I started and finished a whole other cardigan the granny square cardigan which by the way thank you for all the love and support on that video it's almost at 200 views now which isn't much but it is for me and it's kind of crazy thank you I'm really happy about that thank you <laughs> so yeah but it's still I think it's still like I'm calling it the biggest crochet project I've done because it's like the most actual crochet because like with granny squares there's like gaps in them so they work up quicker but this is like it's all block it's all like solo crochet um but i was really excited to do it because like again as i said i love how i love i've like i wanted to make this pattern for a while i remember seeing it first in like maybe may or something but at the time um the pattern maker was on like hiatus so I couldn't get it and then I was able to get it in August I think and oh my god getting this pattern caused like a whole drama with my PayPal let me tell you this story basically to buy it I had to like send money to the um Rekamari through PayPal but I've never I had never sent any like individual just like money through PayPal I'd always just like paid it to like shops or whatever and to do that, you have to, like, to send money to an individual, you have to, like, verify your identity. And that's all well and good. I am me. I'm not committing identity fraud. However, I did, I created my PayPal account when I was, like, 13. Um, which is not allowed. I did it because at the time I couldn't get a, I was, like, also, I couldn't, I didn't have a credit card. Like, I didn't have, like, a debit card. So I couldn't buy anything online. But, like, I wanted to be able to buy any stuff online. And my mum said it was okay. When this happened, she was like, why'd you do that? And I was like, bestie, you were sitting right next to me as we set up this account. So anyway, yeah. I was, like, 13. So obviously I was, like, lying about my date of birth. It said it was, like, I was, like, born in, like, 1995 or something. Which I was not. I was born in 2003. Um, so... I was like trying to verify and then it got to like verifying my age part and like having to send a like document to prove like my name like my age and like something else about me I don't know but I couldn't do that obviously so however on the site there was like this thing where I could change the like year that I was like my birthday like I could change the information put in so I did that I just changed it to 2003 and sent them my license 
Um, <laughs> and then they were like, hmm, something's gone wrong here. You're lying. Oh my gosh, shit. So I got, like, locked out of the account. Like, no, not locked out. I got, like, my actions restricted. So I could log in and I could view everything. But, like, I couldn't delete the account. I couldn't send money. I couldn't receive money. I couldn't take out money. I just had to look at it and be like, oh. Um, so then they sent me an email being like, hey, we noticed you made this account when you're 18. That's not allowed. You're allowed to make a new account once you turn 18. And I'm like, well, I am 18. So I tried to make a new account, but they didn't delete my account. They were just like, we've del they, they told me in the email that they deleted it. But then when I went to try and make a new one, they're like, well, that email address was being used by another account. So you can't make a new one. It was all a mess. So basically I had to make a new email account just to use PayPal. And then I bought the pattern. It was well and all good, all fun, all dandy. Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. And then I've been meaning to like work more on this project for like ages because I got the wool for it in September. But other stuff just kept coming up that I got sidetracked on and did more of. So yeah, I don't know what this video is gonna be like, even though I filmed most of it already. Um, you may be getting lots of little pop-ins from me in, on, from today. <laughs> okay, bye! So, this is like the only footage I have from before December, and I think it's like the first time, like it's from the first day I started working on this, um, I can tell, because I remember in quarantine, because it was one of the days I got my vaccines, but yeah, this is all I got, basically I'm just chaining on for the, one of the front panels um the front panels are what took the majority of the time like i spent like two or three months working on those and then i've gotten the rest done in the last week and i think they were just so time consuming because like they were all in tarsia like i gotta get the pattern right like it's a diamond pattern and yeah also i didn't mention this in any other part but i decided to crop the cardigan um normally it's like a proper like long coat but i just don't like that length and things so i shortened it a bit just just a fun fact in case you're wondering okay bye video last it may have been october or november who knows um because it's christmas today uh and because it's christmas i like want to make gifts for all my family and friends and stuff so i've been spent like the last two or three weeks only working on things for other people because before christmas i also had two friends birthdays so i wanted to make stuff for them i didn't film any of it um, so I've just been doing that. I haven't worked on anything for me in a hot minute, so I'm glad to be doing that. Anyway, I just finished the second front piece, Ooh. which is pretty good. Now I've got to do the back piece, but it'll probably take me ages because it's just back and it's like a big, it's just one big block. I'm just back and forth, back and forth, um, half double crochet, which I'm going to get really bored doing, I feel. But we'll see. I want, I would like to get this done before I go to uni, but like, it is not likely. It's not likely because I also have other stuff I want to get done before uni that I haven't even started yet. So, who knows? So, if I seem sad, it's like quite late, and I just finished watching Encanto. Um, so good. Oh my god, love it. But I was just like crying the whole time, which 
normally I don't do in movies. I cry a bit, but not like the whole time. <laughs> Just anything that happened, I was like, oh, fuck yeah. Like, when, Anto when it was Antonio's uh, door ceremony, I was just crying because he was so happy. He looked so happy and that made me really emotional. And yeah, just everything. <laughs> um, yeah, it's Christmas today, as I said, and I got this shirt. It's of the wifey. Um, so it's pretty epic. Gotta respect the trip. <laughs> um, yeah. That is all for now. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs>so fun story about this cuff I was doing basically I knew I was going to the beach the next morning with my family and I wanted to bring crochet with me but obviously I didn't want to bring the whole massive big blue like back piece because it's so big yeah. um, so I decided I'd start a sleeve so I spent like half an hour or so working on this cuff and then I get up the next morning and look at the pattern and realize that I've done it all wrong um, so all that prepping and planning I did didn't really do anything I still took it to the beach with me I just I had to start it again when I got there so yeah that was fun hello it's January 1st happy new year besties um it's January 1st at night I'm not I I'm not, I didn't just tick over I was out last night but like not even in a cool way I was at my parents friend's place you don't care. Anyway, I've finished almost all the pieces for the jacket, cardigan. So I just finished the back piece here. It's big, um, yeah. And then I also, today I finished this this sleeve as well. Hello, it's edited down the um, Fun fact about that sleeve, it was not in fact finished. Um, I had done it wrong and I had to redo it. I took it apart because I had accidentally been decreasing I had been missing a step a stitch each round so it gone in a bit so I redid like a bunch of rows yeah oh, so I've got one more of these to do um but yeah excited I'm getting there I didn't like I've been working on this since September but it's been really slow and then this week alone I've like done both of these like in a week um so really goes to show that if I just properly sat down and tried to finish it, I could have this whole time, but I didn't want to, so it's, and that's fine. I shouldn't guilt myself and feel bad about being slow when it comes to personal projects. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start the other sleeve and then see how I go with that tomorrow, and then I'll put it together and do the collar and stuff. I'm supposed to like do edging along the side of this back piece, but I've never done that before and I don't really want to, like I'm not really bothered, but I'll keep thinking about it and have like a look at the pattern and look at, look into edging and if it's like necessary, I guess. Yeah. Okay. That is all. See you later.
yeah it's done now i will i haven't taken pictures or anything yet but i will tomorrow or another day but anyway let me put it on here it is yay i'm really happy with how it turned out i just yeah i'm happy with everything about it i like how it looks i like how it feels everything um which is good i'm very happy that i'm happy with it you know um as i explained in the intro i'm filming this like half an hour after i filmed the intro because i got distracted by tiktok um i don't know how much i've explained because i lost footage that i thought i had so yeah i hope it's all right i hope you liked the video hope you enjoyed hope you had a good time um I had a good time making it. I can't believe it, like, as I said before, I started this in like September, October, and it took me like two or three months to just get the front panels done. And then I did the whole, like, the rest of it in like a week and a bit. So it really shows that when I just sit down and get to it, I can achieve anything really quickly. And it's just me getting distracted. I'm my own worst enemy. Uh, yeah i don't know when this will come out because i still have to finish editing another video um so maybe i'll put this out like a week or so off maybe two weeks after that just to spread them out because after that i have no idea what's next my next project is uh a knitted sweater that i'm gonna do like cow print on i'll show you but it's taking forever because i <laughs> knitting in tasia is like way more difficult than I expected. I've done it before, but when I did it before, I was able to just have separate balls of yarn, so I didn't have to carry over, but this one, there's like too many, too many color changes for me to do that. Like, so the back looks like this, um, <laughs> and it's just a lot. It's just a lot. Uh, so I don't know. Also, I am like moving soon and like, a month and a half I only got a few weeks well a month and a half from when I film it like mid-February um I'm, I've only got a few me few more weeks left of my job which is fun to think about but it's also sad because I like my boss and my customers and stuff um so I might make like a moving out moving in vlog maybe but sorry like because I'm moving and like starting uni I don't know how much I'll be able to get done in the next few months. Like, I don't know what I'm even taking with me because, like, I don't have a lot of space. So I don't know how much, like, yarn will fit in my room. I might do a video about, like, little things that I'm going to be making because I want to make gifts for, like, my boss and my other co-worker and then two of my customers. Because my favourite customer, who's an 85-year-old woman, she got me a Christmas present it's like just a little body spray but it, it just made me oh I, I, she's very kind and i i i'm gonna miss her so i want to give her something because she's very sweet and <laughs> yeah um she always just seeing her just makes me happier um and i want to get something for a friend because i like her too like they're both very sweet lovely ladies and i just like my boss she's she's really cool and i've like my co-worker as well she's pretty cool too um and then there's also like a few little things that i want to make to take with me to uni like face washes like a little pouch like bag for my case case for my like nintendo switch and stuff stuff like that so we're gonna make something about that um yeah i'm really warm in this it's like really humid at the moment hope you're all doing well hope you continue to do well um let me know in the comments what you'd like to see what your thoughts were yeah and i will oh like and subscribe follow me on instagram uh yeah i'll see you next time bye bye